Treatment Precautions with Formalin Malachite Green The book treats formalin malachite green rather thoroughly. I don't expect any difficulty treating with it, but here are a few things to be careful of. Most of these are covered in the video and other areas of the book. It is always important to remember that formalin malachite green treatments are somewhat stressful. So, if a fish is not very strong, and in particular, if the fish is already flipped over, formalin malachite green is probably going to finish it. If the fish is swimming in an inflexible manner, and the body appears to be stiff, you should know that they are capable of rigor mortis before they even die. That doesn't mean give up. That just means be reasonable about what you expect formalin malachite green to do. Formalin malachite green consumes oxygen in the environment so under no circumstances should you use it in water that is over 80. And you should not use it in water that is not receiving extra ration. An air pump and a vigorous air stone would be strenuously recommended. A waterfall is plenty, too. However, with those two conditions met, formalin malachite green has an impressive kill spectrum and works very well. Filter effects aren't as severe as you would think. But it's a good idea to bypass your filtration media for two hours while you use that compound. Done correctly, you should be able to smell a hint of formaldehyde on the air. When you were close to the system being treated. It's a good idea to be in the vicinity of the tank when you treat it. So that you can watch your fish for signs of stress. Gasping for air at the surface could indicate overdose or complication. If the smell of formalin coming off, the water is quite strong, you have overdosed. As mentioned in the book, formalin inactivates fairly quickly with high aeration and mixing. In a pond, a waterfall is more than sufficient to deactivate most formalin within two hours. This is good for the fish. Dosing with formalin according to the book, achieves 25 parts per million. Or less, which I have found to be effective in practice. Dosages up to 50 ppm are given, I think it is unnecessarily, strong, unnecessarily, stressful. That means that the dosing recommended by SavingSickFish.org is conservative. But I have found it to be effective, if done according to the schedule. In all cases, use manufacturer's directions. Also, be absolutely sure that you are not treating for a disease. When all that's wrong, is a crashed pH. Check your water thoroughly, first. I really hope you have checked the pH before engaging any and all treatments. Keep in mind, anything salt can do, formalin can do better except white spot disease. When you're dealing with white spot disease, I have to admit, salt is better. Hey, thank you for watching the video. I really appreciate that. Hope you learned something. That's the entire intent of these videos is to be helpful. Just a real quick favor to ask of you, would you mind sharing this video with one person? I would appreciate it. One person that you think might benefit from knowing better nutrition for their dog, from somebody that doesn't sell dog food. Anybody who could benefit from just taking better care of their pets, share, like, subscribe, help me get my voice out. I would appreciate it very much. Thank you so much.